Hey guys, it's Wendy here from In Focus Prints, and today we are going to be filming a plan with me in my um, Erin Condren 2018 planner, and this is going to be for the week of January 22nd through January 28th. And I have pulled out a kit from Little Plush Paper, and um, I have been looking forward to using this. I am absolutely in love with the black and white kits so I'm looking forward to using this one so these are our full boxes this is our washi bottom washi washi strips and our day covers our um, full heart checklist it comes with a lot of icons some um, word icons it has um, check flags our little things and headers and our sidebar stuff our half boxes and our movie marquee so I also real quick would like to pull out um, flags for the corners um, because I didn't see any in this kit and I thought I could use I've got a couple um, choices and I think what I'm going to use is these I'm going to use a silver and a January so I am going to pull these out and these are by rose colored days so I think I'm going to use those I will leave this out just in case there's anything else that I need um, in fact I think I will need some numbers let me see if I've got any I think I'll just write them in today and I'll look for them. Um, set that to the side. I have some bows pulled out. I have my pen gems in black. I have, this is from, I believe it is from Kinsley's Doodle Box. Um, these three are from um, K and Co XOXO. And it's a black, a hound's tooth, and a gray. And I thought all of these colors would be real pretty with this kit. So I'm going to set those to the side and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put my January down. I think I'm going to put it over here because I already have January over there. So we'll put that down and then we will use a solid silver in the silver foil. There we go. And so the next thing we're going to do is pull out our bottom washi. This is a nice wide washi, so it's going to fill up most of the bottom. So we'll go up close to the line. So guys, I, I have been to the movies. I'm filming on Sunday, and so I went to the movies on Saturday. I went to the movies on Sunday. There's just a lot of stuff right now that I want to see. And today's movie was 12 Strong. Yesterday's movie, let me see if I can remember, is Forever My Girl. Both were really, really good movies. Um, I will say Forever My Girl was definitely a chick flick. Um, but it was good. Um, I just kind of stumbled on it because I really... Um, had not seen the previews for it and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my quote box down so yesterday I really wanted to go see a movie and I want really wanted to go see 12 strong yesterday excuse me I've got to have a cup of coffee I am just dry and um, but when I I missed looked at the time and when I got there it was another whole hour and a half wait so I went ahead and saw Forever You, and I am so glad that I did because it was wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the dates. I don't think I have date dots in here. I do not. So I'm gonna write these. So I went by myself yesterday. My son was out doing things with friends and it was just one of those days I just needed to get away. 
I was pretty much just having a pity party for, with myself. I was like, here I am on a Saturday and I have nobody to do anything with. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go to the movies. And I did. And I had fun. So, um, today, my son was not doing anything. So, he was like, yeah, sure, I'll go to the movies with you. I was like, well, I wanted to go see 12 Strong yesterday. And I told him about the mix-up and the times and whatever. So, we went to see that today. And it was an awesome movie. Um... It really just made you stop and think about 9-11 and all that happened really quickly afterward. And some of it we did not even know about. So, it was a very good movie. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so I am going to start by putting my Today Hitters down. Actually, I don't want to do my todays. I want to do my to-dos. So we'll start with our to-dos. But it was a really, really good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, I will tell you it's powering about, off. Um, us being in Afghanistan and um, special forces from the army that went over and they did combat on horses and it was just a very different perspective um, than I have seen and it was really good. Um, it, it just hits home that we are lucky because we're we're not um, we don't have the fighting going on that they have every day and the rights that we have sometimes we take those rights for granted and um, it just kind of brought it all home so it was a very good I would highly recommend it if you get a chance to see it the other movie that I saw was Forever Your Girl, Forever My Girl, and it was a really cute movie. I will tell you, the little girl in it steals the show. She is the cutest thing ever, and um, she really does make the show. Um, it was a good movie. I didn't know much about about that show going in. I, I don't watch TV. I know people are like, what? You don't watch TV? I truly do not. Um, if I'm going to watch something, it's usually on Netflix or um, something that I can pull up on my iPad and watch. Usually YouTube. <laughs> um, I really... Unless we're watching a movie, I do not even turn my TV on, to be honest. I've got a lot going on, and um, between work and my business from home, I just don't have, have the time for that. And if I'm going to watch something, I would rather sit down at a, and watch a movie. Um, so, there you go. But um, I really was, I saw the trailer on the website for the theater, and um, I thought, well, that looks like it would be good. And it really was. And I would recommend that one also. I will tell you, it's not something to take your husband to, because it is really a chick flick. I'm just going to be honest with you. I cried. I just own it. Um, it was just such a really good movie. So, I highly recommend it. Okay, so now we're into today. Um, 
but the little girl is just so outspoken and um, as the movie goes on you realize that she is very um, afraid is not the word I would use she is cautious about everything and by the end of the movie she's kind of lost a little bit of that and it just it just plays out really well um, it was just a really good cast of characters and it was just a good movie it was a feel-good movie so if you need a pick-me-up go watch it um, take some Kleenexes that's all I can say but at one point she, she's agreed to meet her dad that she's never met and um, she tells her mom yep so they're sitting at the table eating and he says something to her and she's really smart mouth <laughs> and the mother's correcting her and she's like I said I would meet him I did not say I would be I didn't say I wouldn't make it hard so it's really cute it's a really cute movie um, so I think I'm going to start out with the Uggs and see how this looks. And then we'll go with, let's go with this darker plaid. So I have really d done a lot of movies today, today and yesterday. Um, let's see, what box do I want to use next? I think I am going to use this plan. Um, but it was really good. I have really enjoyed this weekend. And again, I know I've told you guys before, um, but there is an app. If you like to watch movies, check it out. It is called Movie Pass, and you pay for the membership. It's a 12-month membership. You pay for that all up front. They send you a card. It looks like a MasterCard. You download the app, and... You can only see one movie a day, but you can go every single day if you want to and see a movie, and it does not cost you anything else to see the movie. So um, if you are an avid movie watcher, it is really worth it. Um, I think right now it is $9.95 $9 a month. Um, we signed up on Black Friday, and we got it for $6.95 a month. But you pay that all up front. And if you go to just one movie a month, it it's cheaper because it's cheaper than the um, even the matinee price for most movies. So if you even go just one movie a month, you, you're going to get your money's worth out of it. And as I said, it, it's on, it doesn't matter if it's new release today. It could be. Um, it, it doesn't matter. You can um, get in. I think the only thing you cannot get in on is the 3D movies. Um, I don't think it covers those. But any other just regular movie, you can go in on the day it's released. So it's a good deal. Okay, so I'm going to save this box in case I need it. I'm going to go ahead and put my weekend banner down so that I don't forget. And um, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and put down on the sidebar of my sidebar stuff. So I'm going to get my weekly tracker. Ooh! I don't know what I did.
did there. And I think I also want to use the other one to track. To track also and then I'm going to use a box a half box and that is to track my social media there we go so let's see if we can go ahead and get started. So let's see what kind of things we have. So on Monday, I know I have a, an appointment um, for my physical therapy. You know what? I'm going to use these three weights because they're the same. And I have three appointments this week. So I'm going to do those. I also want to put my meal plan down. So let's start with that. And I will put my PT appointment down. Um, right now, I'm doing physical therapy for my back three times a week. Next week, I get to go down to two days a week, and hopefully, I will be done pretty soon. My back is getting so much better, and Hopefully, I'm going to be done pretty soon. I put that on Tuesday. I do not have a physical therapy appointment on Tuesday. It is on Wednesday. And then Thursday. And let's see. Let's get the rest of our meal planners. This planner stays home, um, so this is a reference for when we're at home. I keep my traveler's notebook in uh, my notebook in my purse. So this one I do meal planning in because it keeps, if my son starts to cook, he knows what to cook, and um, I don't have to be here. Um, so. If I'm cooking, when I get home, it's here, and I know what day we're having what on. So it kind of um, is good for both of us for that. There. So I don't have any more um, PT for the week. Let's see. Um, I need to check my post office box tomorrow, so I'm going to put this one down. And then... I am going to get a box in on Wednesday. So I'm going to put Happy Mail down for that day. Um, I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to center it here. And let's see. So let's go back to Monday and see what else we need to do. I have some things that I want to work on for my Etsy shop. So. I think I'm just going to put down a half box for those things. And then on Tuesday, I have laundry day on Monday. And yep, I do. So I have a laundry day and I have a... grocery cart because I need to go get groceries and then I'm going to do a laundry day across here 
and let's see what else I've got. Okay, that's pretty much it. And then on Tuesday, I'm working. I'm going to pack my lunch, but when I get home, I've got some stuff that I need to work on for my shop. So I am going to put a half box down. I'm also going to be, I will be sweeping and vacuuming for the house. I also need to get gas. Let me see if I have a car. I do not. I'll just list it up here. So. I will list my cleaning here. I may use this one. I was going to use it for something else, but I think I'm going to track my steps and my cleaning here. Let me see if I've got it to clean. We do. So I think we're going to do this. There, to clean. And then we'll just do this week here. There we go. Now let's see what we've got. Um, so Wednesday we've got happy mail. I'm expecting that. I've got my PT, my meal. And uh, let me see if I've got a, I'm gonna use a asterisk for um, my other stuff that I'm going to do when I get home. I've got some stuff for the shop I want to work on, so we'll just do that. And then on Thursday, it's going to be um, trash day. It's trash day. And I know this is a little dog paw, but I'm going to use it for my cat because it's litter day. So there is that. And then I'm expecting a package. Um, but I think I'm just going to list it up here. I think the rest of the stuff I'm going to list in my checklist. Friday, I have, I'm going to put a half box down. And this is going to be I'm going to use clean today because we're going to be having company on the weekend and I want to get a little bit of cleaning done on Friday night before they come. So I'm going to do that. And let's see, what else do I need to do? I think that's going to be it. And then on Saturday, I need to run to the grocery store. Um, we're having dinner and I want to go do that. Let's see what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use just use the asterisk again. And I will put it on a flag. So we're going to go to the grocery store and then I want to do just a little bit of final um, run the vacuum and that kind of thing. So I'm going to put down, I think I'm just going to use one of these. I'm going to do the last minute stuff that I want to do. And, and then I'm going to work on some of my Project Life stuff. So I am going to put a heart down because that's something I like to do. And I will probably film it. So let me get my camera out for this one.
there we go. So then on Sunday, um, I'm going to do my laundry, the rest of my laundry. And plan next week. And I think I'm just going to use one of these strips because I don't use the TVs. That's going to be it. So that is going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my paper clips on here so you can see what it looks like. And here we go. I just saw this hound's tooth went with this plaid really well. So let me zoom you out just a little so you can see it. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I hope you will give me a thumbs up. I hope you um, will subscribe and I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you have any comments, anything that I can change, anything that you'd like to see, leave me a comment down below. I would love to do um, anything else that you would like to see. I'm also hoping to put out a video on either my Project Life um, Week or my 12 days, 12 of 12, um, which is um, 12 photos on the 12th of every month. So I need to do my January 12th, so I don't know which one I'm going to film yet. But that hopefully will come out this week too. So until next time, bye-bye.